EPAPs used for sleep apnea. A lot of you are asking if you should or should not be using them for coronavirus. First of all, a ventilator is used to breathe for you when you can't breathe on your own. Something like a CPAP is a gentle, continuous flow of air while you're sleeping. If you were to get a virus, sleep medicine Dr. Philip Alipat from Baylor College of Medicine says... CPAPs should not be discontinued because they're critical to maintaining good health in people who need them. It kind of naturally translates to trying to improve your overall health to try to fight off viral infections. I ask if CPAP machines could potentially spread a virus. Sleeping next to your bed partner with the CPAP device is the same thing that uh, you would not do when you were, say, coughing and sneezing with an upper respiratory infection otherwise. CPAP device has a persistent air leak, which could possibly include some of these aerosols, um, these little small bits of mucus. And in the same way, uh, that uh, the spread of those aerosols to nearby individuals is possible. So if you suspect you have coronavirus, do not sleep next to a spouse and talk to your doctor right away on whether or not you should discontinue use of your CPAP machine. Now, he does say to clean CPAP devices, use soap and water on the mask and tubing. There's also sanitizing machines that can keep them clean as well. And Haley, that is that advice for cleaning the CPAP machine is good advice. But does the doctor recommend the sanitizing machine during the coronavirus outbreak? So he tells me that most of the time you can clean these uh, machines well by yourselves, like I'm just mentioned, with soap and water with the, on the mask and the tubing. But if it makes you feel better, he says the cleaning machines also work well, too. They range in price from 100 to almost $400. All right, so there are different options for people. Thank you, Haley.